Hi and welcome all new viewers, welcome back returning viewers, um, this is the Curious Stitches podcast, my name's Ellie and I'm coming to you from the glorious sunny Devon in England, um, I am the designer behind Curious Stitches Designs and the dye behind Curious Stitches Yarns and I am doing a special little episode today um, celebrating my 42nd birthday. Um, yeah, it was a lovely, lovely day. Um, so I'm just going to show you some of the things that I got together for my birthday. Oh, while I knit on something else. So, um, yes, it was my birthday on the 16th of May. I am Taurus. And yeah, so um, we spent some time on the beach um, uh, and picked up sea glass um, and had a lovely little walk. Um, and then we came home and went to my local yarn shop and Abby got me some yarn. So I'm going to show you the yarn. So the first one is Malabrigo Rios in the Wales Road colourway. And it's this one. So Abby helped me choose this one because it's purples and blues and teals. And it's absolutely beautiful. I'm sorry, you can hear outside. It's hot here. It's 23 degrees. So it's May and it's 23 degrees Celsius. It's crazy. So anyway, yes, um, this, this beauty, isn't that lovely? And then the second skein of yarn is also a Malabrigo. It's in their Mecha base in the Pension colorway. And oh my goodness, this immediately sang to me. It's like a stained glass window. Isn't that stunning? It's almost sort of Noro-esque. But, oh, it's so beautiful. So this is going to be probably colour work of some sort because I love colour work. Um, definitely going to be in the yoke of a jumper. This one is probably going to be a lovely hat or hat and mitts. Um, this one has, what's the yardage? Uh, 119 meters, it's bulky weight. And this one, I'm sure is a worsted weight. And it's 192 meters, yeah, worsted weight. So, worsted weight hat and chunky. Hmm. So that was my Two things, my local yarn shop. Sorry about the cars. Um, I don't know why it's so busy here today, but it seems to be like Piccadilly Circus outside my front door. But anyway, um, and then the other nitty things that I got for my bed. Well, first, this was my wrapping paper. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. I love my little ponies and care bears. So. I always like to keep some of the wrapping paper used and I sort of um, scrapbook type thing. I've got a, just a, a happy book. And so I'll, I'll cut out some of these and stick them in there. So, um, I've also got me some stickers. And I know you think stickers aren't anything through knitting. Tell that to any other knitter out there that has stickers. So these are cute kawaii goth type ones. Um, and yeah, so this one is a, an hourglass. It's got a rainbow and death in the bottom. So yeah. So yeah, as I was saying, Pom Pom Magazine were having a, like a warehouse clearance sale. And so they had back issues of lots of things that were um, basically half price or less. So I got to pick eight. So happy. So 
I have Interpretations Volume 6. This is Hohe and Vera Valamaki. Um, and I picked each one of these because there's at least one, probably two things in each one that I wanted to knit. Um, here are the lovely ladies, Vera and Hohe. You know these ladies. Um, so Interpretations Volume 6. The pattern that immediately jumped out to me in this one I will just find it was the understated sweater by Hohe which is this beauty and this is 100% my style I will get so much wear out of this jumper it's unreal um, it is made using, I think it's worsted weight? No, DK. And I have a lot of DK weight yarn. Um, so yeah, I plan to make this. It is from uh, well, it's sized extra small to 4XL and there is 20 inches of positive ease. So it goes from a 30 inch to a 56 inch, but the finish size is 50 to 76 inches. So mm. I can't wait to, to knit that one. And then I have Interpretations Volume 2. Again, in this one. Again, it's both Vera Valamaki and Hohe. And this one is the True Cardigan by Hohe. I've wanted to knit this for ages. It's absolutely stunning. And I already have the yarn for it. Um, with this one, I'm going to be... Yeah, it's DK as well. Now, I have got um, tweed yarns, which I'll be using for that one. There is another pattern in here that I want to make. Um... Let me just find it. Originally, I wanted to knit the adventurous cable cardigan, but I know myself and I know that I won't commit to that many cables. Um, was it the focus wrap? No, it was the... The True Friend Jumper by Vera Van Mackey. Because I think this would be really fun to play with mini skeins. Um, so I've, I'm going to do black or charcoal. And then for each one of the, the, the light stripes, I'm going to be using different mini skeins or three or four different mini skeins and repeat them sort of thing. So. And then the gold dust. Interpretations Volume 1. I love this one. There are several patterns in here that I would love to make, including the one on the cover by Hohe. Um, the subtle... No, the, the word for this one is subtle. It's the Sweet Cables Pullover. And it is... So the neck, like the cowl itself, the cowl neck is cables which I thought was just absolutely wonderful. And when Hohe designed that, I was, oh, I need that. And I like the fact that it's longer on the back than on the front. Um, and then, I wanted to make, I wanted to make Hohe's reflection cowl, the at dawn shawl. Um, which is this beauty here. It's very simple. Um, I'm not going to knit it in yellow, obviously, but I like this so much. I like high contrast. So this, I haven't got yarn picked out yet, but in the back of my mind, I kind of know where I'm going with this one. So, yes. And there's another couple in there as well. And then I have got the... Pom-pom terrain version, which is winter 
2019. Um, this one I want to make the a field cardigan, so it's a buttonless cardigan. I absolutely love this so much. And Oh, there's a wall hanging in here, which I want to have a go at as well. Um, but yeah. And then Pom Pom Summer 2021. I love this crop top. I want to make this crop top. Now, I'm funny. I'm not, I'm slim, fine. I've had three kids, my tummy's a bit jelly. So I'm deliberately going to make this to sort of force myself out of my comfort zone. Um, because I will wear this when it's hot on a day like today and everyone else will be doing the same thing. So I'm really looking forward to making that. That is the reason why I bought this one. Oh, Abby bought me that one. I have mm, the moon and turtle. I am longing to make one of these. Now I'm not a chevron girl by any means, but I love this and I'm going to use very similar colors, but Instead of using lilac, I'm going to be using royal purple sort of thing. Um, I'm going to be making it richer. Now, I know you think that's already quite rich, but in my mind, that's still quite pastel. Um, so I want to make a really nice, bold version of this. And there are a couple of other patterns in there as well. And then I have the Pom Pom Ready Set Raglan. Now, both Abby and I like raglan jumpers, and I think there's only one in here that I don't want to knit for either myself or Abby. So this one, I think it was 9 95 for this one. So that is a steal. Um, when you think about how many patterns are in here, it's just, it's amazing. Um, yeah. There are at least nine in here so bargain and then finally one that i've had my eye on but i couldn't justify and when it's your birthday you can so knits this one uh knits about winter i love pretty much everything in here so i'm going to be working my way through a lot of these patterns as well for myself for abby and for neve i think between us we're gonna have end up with most of these so yeah um so didn't i do really well for my birthday i got thoroughly spoilt abby sort of said here's your budget go onto the website just add everything to a basket and i'll pay for it and i was like mm. so yeah um so that was absolutely lovely for my birthday to receive all of these things now you might turn around and say well as a designer do I need this stuff and actually this is something I wanted to talk about because a lot of people assume just like with indie dyeing you know if you're an indie dyer you can dye your yarn yourself which is great that's why I started dyeing yarn because I couldn't find the colors I wanted at the time and why I've gone back into it because in my mind there are these yarns that I want to knit with and I can't find them so I'm dyeing them um tangent there there is going to be a shop update uh in the middle of june so keep your eyes open for that one but anyway so in the same way that indie dyers also buy yarns from everywhere else um i like buying other designers work because yes i could spend you know a month designing and making a sample of a new pattern but then it's work and to be able to just go i want to knit something like this and that's perfect i don't need to do any of the maths i don't need to do any of the grading i don't need to do the you know the swatches the sampling the 
the writing of the pattern or anything else. I could sit there in three or four days and make this top. It is pure joy and bliss. So it's also very good for other, you know, little tip for budding designers. Um, read patterns, buy patterns. Until you are fluent in being able to design a garment, and it actually, forget that, it's not even about being fluent in designing garments. Anyone else's knitting patterns will teach you. It doesn't matter if it's just a raglan vest or, you know, a roll neck jumper, a cable sweater, a lacy cowl neck, whatever. The more you knit other people's patterns, the more you will learn and can do yourself. Um, it's almost like saying, you know, you don't need to finish, you know, you don't need to do any more education after high school. Of course you do. You know, it's sort of, you keep learning. And the longer you knit, the real, you realise there's still so much more to learn. And for me, these are just, they're joy and they're educational. Because I can look at them and go, of course you do it that way. And so things click into place. You know, don't copy patterns by, you know, that's not okay by any means. But to be able to look at something and go, that's how they've done that. And it encourages you to believe that you can do these things too. There you go. So, um, yeah, I, like I said, I had a wonderful day. Um, Abby made me a Victoria sponge birthday cake with rhubarb and strawberry jam and some buttercream, which is delicious. Vegan, which was nice. Uh, and then she made me some sugar cookies, which were like witches hats and cats and cauldrons. So nice. Um, yeah, it was an absolute lovely day. So um, thank you for letting me share my, my birthday bits and bobs with you and um yeah i'll insert the little clip of the the scene at the end and um i look forward to seeing you all again soon bye everyone <laughs>